Me. Versus the guy she tells me not to worry about. Gentlemen, I bought a 4090, and today we're going to be finding out how it performs in the most technically advanced and physically accurate uh. hay bale simulator. BMG Drive. So I asked you guys on Twitter what tests you wanted me to perform and... As expected, that turned out to be a terrible mistake. But do not worry, as I have a nice assortment of tests to show you. And safe to say, some of the results were quite confusing. Can it run in 8K? How many traffic cars can it spawn? Have I beaten a world record? And was this a terrible waste of money? Yeah, let's find out. Hello? Hello, is this Moya? Yes. Alright, great. Listen, we're reaching out about your chapter 11 bankruptcy file. Since this video may attract a wider audience than usual, let's say, people above the age of 9, I'm gonna try and be a little more tame, a little bit more composed. Also, I would just like to mention that I am not sponsored by anyone. Everything in my setup I have bought with my very own channel members money thank you very much lads so basically everything that comes out of this mouth is completely unbiased and yeah i can say whatever i want in fact you know what guys do not buy this rectangle and the last thing i want to tell you before looking at the numbers is how i got the numbers so the cpu i used is the ryzen 7950x i'm also running a pretty illegal ram configuration i have four sticks of DDR5-6000, but it works somehow. And then there's other more irrelevant shit. If you want to see the full setup, it will be linked in my crotch. And I also tested my old 3080, uh, just for reference, and also to prove a point later on. And yeah, it's the same computer with just a different GPU. So the first test I ran was 1080p ultra settings in West Coast, USA. The most graphically intensive map in the game. And at first, the results seemed pretty good, until I compared it to the 3080. Yes, I double-checked. The 3080 is 3% faster. But especially, come on guys, these cards at 1080p, this has to be a CPU bottleneck. And in fact, bumping it up to 1440p barely makes a difference. This, I was not expecting. But West Coast USA doesn't tell the full story, so we'll check out the bigger picture with all the maps very soon. And moving on to 4K, the 4090 can finally flex its overpriced silicon muscles, beating the 3080 by 69%. Nice. But that isn't enough. You see, Jensen Wang promised me two times the rasterization performance. Not a mere 69%. Come on. So to verify that my precious metal rectangle wasn't effective. I ran the Forza Horizon 5 and Acero Corsa benchmarks. And guess what? I got over double the performance in both titles. So what's the matter with BeamNG then? To find out, I tested all BeamNG maps. And this netted out some pretty interesting results. At 1080p, the 4090 was on average 36% faster than the 3080. Meanwhile, at 1440p, the 4090's average lead grew to 59%. And finally, at 4K, the 4090 was on average 90% faster than the 3080, which is in line with Nvidia's shady marketing claims. Very nice. But the important word here is on average. As I was testing, I noticed that some maps, such as Jungle Rock Island, got a huge jump in performance by switching to the 4090, while others, like West Coast, saw relatively small improvements. To be honest, I have absolutely zero idea why there is such a massive difference in performance from map to map. So if you happen to have any theories, please let me know in the comments section. Now before testing 8K and showing you the world record I may have beaten, I wanted to see how BeamNG ran with max settings. That's because the ultra preset is actually pretty conservative when it comes to one setting in particular dynamic reflection. And funnily enough, as soon as you go over to increase it, it gives you a f***ing warning. <laughs> as for what all these settings do, they basically control the quality of the reflections and how often they update. By maxing out the settings, we went from 142 FPS to just 92. That's a 35% loss in performance. Bro. And just to make matters worse, 
the 3080's frames only dropped by 26%. This I was not expecting, and I was pretty sure it had something to do with BeamNG's shit graphics API. So I tried using Vulkan, which unfortunately is still unstable, but guess what? It got the 4090 from 92 FPS to 126. Oddly enough, there were no performance gains by using Vulkan with the Ultra preset on both GPUs, but still, I'm really excited for when it eventually comes out. Devs, come on, come on. And now, let's check out... So if you didn't know already, 8K is like running 4 4K monitors, or 16 1080p monitors. Yes, it's pretty f***ing stupid. Especially if you're not using a screen which is under 75 inches or something, you just cannot notice the benefits of it. But you know, finding new and original ways to cook your graphics brick is always fun. So let's do it. On West Coast, the 3080 barely makes it to 15 FPS, which instantly drops as soon as you get moving. Truly one of the slideshows of all time. But how does the 4090 fare? Hey yo, is that almost 45 FPS? Damn, I forgot what being a console gamer felt like. <laughs> Anyways, while this isn't a smooth 60 FPS experience, a constant 30 FPS is actually kind of playable. And man, the level of detail is just insane. But when I'm not zooming in, you can't see it because this video is in 4K. Actually, you know what? If this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll release, what, 10, 15 minutes of beautiful 8K ultra graphics gameplay for you to enjoy on your 1080p mobile phone screen. And the last thing I want to test before showing you my potential world record is if the 4090 can run more compared to the 3080. Starting off with 8 cars, we can see that the 4090 is 23% faster than the 3080. But I don't think this necessarily means faster GPU equals more traffic, especially since traffic is mostly CPU dependent. And in fact, doubling the amount of traffic up to 16 cars makes the 4090 just 6% faster than the 3080. And doubling the traffic once more has us completely CPU bottlenecked. So can the 4090 run more traffic? No. But it can run the same amount of traffic at higher frame rates until about 16 cars or so. And finally, what is the world record I may have beaten? FPS. With the sheer rasterization performance of that holy rectangle, I was sure I could get a shot at achieving the highest frame rates in BeamNG Drive history. I started off by setting the graphics to lowest and going from 4K to 1080p. And boy was she screaming. Holy shit. But this, no, this was not enough. So I set the resolution to its lowest possible setting and stared right into the sky. And there it was, 3825 frames per second. Now, I have no idea if this is an actual record I may have beaten, especially since I didn't find anything else while searching online. Legit, the first thing that comes up on Google is my tutorial on how to get more frames in BeamNG. But if, for example, you happen to get more FPS, please let me know. And of course, for reference, I tested the 3082 and it was not that far off. And in conclusion, I can confidently say that is a waste of money. 